Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today I've seen the title of the video. We're looking at a new product from the guys at Faxon Firearms. And if you not know Faxon Firearms, they make barrels and also complete firearms. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out all the past videos from Faxon Firearms. Great support of the channel. I appreciate those guys for sending this for me review. And I tell you, there's nothing fun than a 22 long rifle. I tell you, you can have a lot of fun with a 22 and very inexpensive to shoot as well so uh, a lot of people uh, get into the ring fire and they do precise 22 rifles all the time but facts and firearms came out with their own version of the complete uh rifle and we're gonna go through some of the specs of this and now this rifle is uh one of the three that they have available uh two of them are going to be uh standard 16 inch rifles uh with uh different stocks and as well they have one the skeletonized stocks as well which is uh, very neat and uh, very good looking as well. Hopefully get one of those on the channel. So stay tuned for that and Again on this version here with the map pool stock, which is the um, X22 hunter stock which uh, they're very popular because of the adjustability of the stock and everything and very lightweight You can get a nice platform set up for a 22 long rifle and other stuff from map pool You know map pool has been around for a long time. They're making great products, but either way <laughs> This is the F X22 rifle with the map Mac pull stock 16 inch fluted barrel which is a bull barrel which is very nice and heavy and that's gonna be very accurate as that depending on what kind of ammunition you and we'll test that here in a video later on with some ammunition that I have available and shoot some group and see which one is the best for this rifle and again it's very limited to what 22 ammo I have here so I uh, got some of the pretty decent ammo but other than that let's go through everything again the stock is very nice 16 inch straight fluted uh, barrel, bull barrel, and the barrel is a uh, 40, uh, 41, uh, 416 uh, stainless steel uh, black nitride with a 116 and 116 twist. <laughs> Hopefully, I can talk today. And the chamber is going to be a sporter chamber on there, uh, so it's going to be nice and easy to chamber those rounds. But we'll see that in a minute. Uh, you also have a muscle thread pitch of half by 28 so if you got a suppressor you can attach one it comes with a uh, thread protector we can take off very easily with your hands no tools necessary and it comes with a 25 round uh ruger bx25 which uh very inexpensive you can get it uh pretty much anywhere so it gives you a lot of capacity and more fun to shoot without have to reload every time but we only have one today so uh unfortunately I'm gonna have to get some more, but other than that, <laughs> 25 rounds is better than 10 rounds. Uh, <clears throat> the muscle, um, again, it's a thread pitch at half by 28. Uh, the receiver, which is made by Faxon Farms, is gonna be a 6061 T6 aluminum, which is black, hardcore, anodized, uh, and that has a nice Picatinny built in too for scope. As you can see, we went with a big boy here because I want to be able to reach out and see what I'm shooting at at a long distance. So that's what I went with. Um, and I think it's be a lot of fun shooting. Uh, but either way, uh, the Picatinny arrow is integrated with zero MOA capability. So you can side in your scope as red dot, whatever you want to put on here, you can side it pretty neatly. Now the bolt, I'm not going to take it apart because I not usually take stuff apart, but there's videos out there where you can uh, show how to easily take this apart and do whatever you need to. But the bolt, it's going to be 17 4 stainless steel the firing pin is going to be a round profile and the charging handle is going to be from uh tandem cross the spartan skeletonized handle which is very nice not too big doesn't stick out too far but just enough for you to be able to charge it and i think it's going to be a nice addition to it uh so the trigger now the trigger is the main thing everybody looking for again the trigger is going to be the ruger <clears throat> The Ruger uh, Trigger BX Trigger with a 2.75 uh, uh, pounds pull on it. Uh, and it's very, very, very nice. And we are clear. But very nice trigger. Very li little take up. A nice break. And it's going to be a lot fun and accurate when it comes to shooting long distance. So that's a cool little thing here. Very, very light. That trigger is very lightweight. And the overall of the rifle, uh, the weight is going to be 6.1 pounds, the length 32.25 inches, the height 7 inches, and the width is 2.75. So that's pretty much it. Again, I'll notate everything down below 
all the specs and everything and i just love this stock now it is a little heavy uh but it is going to be very accurate and stable when you're shooting in the prone position or on a bench uh, i did throw this bipod here so we can get pretty decent accuracy now this bipod is not a back pull but it's pretty pretty close to a mac pull here uh but it's half the price of what you pay for a mac pull got this on amazon if you're interested i'll try to remember link it down below uh, i think this was like 45 bucks or something like that or 50 bucks i can remember so far so good very lightweight uh solid and everything but anyways the just to build the stock again you got different pads from mac pool that comes with it a uh, sling attachment so many sling attachments available with the m locks up top and uh just overall everything looks very nice all right enough talking and let's shoot some groups so stay tuned all right guys so we're gonna start with the uh arm score 22 long rifle this is 36 grain high velocity hollow point we're gonna shoot a five group round again we only got one magazine so we have to stop and i also forgot my camera to show you down there when i'm shooting the target but either say all day we're gonna go ahead and shoot uh four different type of ammos to see which one uh, it prefers the best again i don't know which ammo they typically use for this type of rifle setup as far as how well which one is going to be more accurate all right enough talking let's shoot five rounds and i think we're going to shoot the uh top left first and go from there all right here we go five rounds all right here we go All right, that was five rounds. And let's go and shoot the next group, so stay tuned. All right, if I didn't mention again, <clears throat> excuse me, this rifle is in the 900 price. Uh, being the uh, fluted barrel with the uh, heavy barrel, it's gonna cost a little more. They do have a uh, more a cheaper alternative, which is I think 750 bucks with the pencil type barrel, standard barrel. But anyways, <clears throat> let's shoot the next group, it's gonna be uh, the Norma here, Pack 22, uh, high velocity, 1100 feet per seconds. This is round nose, 40 grain lead, uh, 22 ammo. All right, let's shoot the top right and get our group here. all right we out all right that was the norma let's go ahead and move to the next 22 ammo stay tuned all right guys so we're going to move to the next thing i have available now this is going to be winchester uh 22 40 grain now this was more a little faster 1280 feet per seconds and it's a powerpoint copper plated ammunition and this never had issues with winchester 22 but let's go ahead and shoot a five round group at the bottom right hand corner all right here we go all right that's five rounds of the winchester let's move to the next one all right, guys, now we got some CCI velocity here, standard velocity, uh, 40 grain, 1070 feet per second. And this is uh, lead round nose ammunition. All right, let's do a fire group. And again, this is at about 50 yards, if I didn't mention. So let's do CCI. All right, we out. So let's go ahead and step down there and see what kind of group we had. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's the target at 50 yards. We started with the arm score 36 grain. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five. Not sure what was going on there, but <laughs> I don't know if it was me. It's my first uh, range shooting session today. That's why it started cold. But anyways, we moved to the Norma 40 grain. A little bit tighter group. We got one, two, three, four, five. 
The scope still needs to be sided in a little more up, a little more, and to the left for that back group. And then we move to the, let's go to Winchester, so this is the third one here we shot. With the 40 grain, not a bad group again, five rounds, Winchester 40 grain. And as you can see, I already noticed the CCI 40 grain shot a little bit lower, but not a bad group at all. CCI 40 grain. All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue shooting and have more fun. All right, guys, we're going to do a little mag dump here. We're going to use CCI ammo for this mag dump. So we got 25 rounds loaded. Let's see how fast we can dump 25 rounds of 22 loading rifle here with this trigger. Here we go. Ran them all, no issues. So uh, one thing I noticed is most of the ammo went shooting through this when I first got it. Uh, it was the Federal, and I was having some issues, double feed, uh, not uh, fill it to chamber. But let's go ahead and load up 25 rounds of this and do the same thing. So stay tuned. All right, guys, like I mentioned, we're going to use this uh, Federal Auto Match 40 grain uh, 22 long rifle here. Uh, this is uh, muscle velocity 1200 feet per second and basically it's just target shooting but uh, yeah let's go do a mag dump and see how well it runs with this type of ammo like I said when I first got it this is uh, federal is the most of the ammo that I've been running through this rifle and I have had some issues though feed or failure to chamber here we go All right, it ran in pretty good. Now I did uh, clean it before starting this video and uh, lubricated it as well. So maybe that's all I needed, just a little bit cleaning. Uh, it's got dirty, you know. Uh, I almost shot this whole box here of ammo. Uh, this one is about 325 rounds in it. And I have to say that maybe about 50 rounds left here. But I shot a lot of ammo through here, at least 500 rounds so far through this rifle. And of course, typically 22 does get dirt, get dirty pretty quickly, and they start having some issues. So I say around three, two to three hundred rounds. I suggest at least kind of clean it a little bit, and uh, you know, uh, so it will function correctly. Ah, right, let's continue shooting. Right, guys what do you think about the fx22 is it just another 22 or anything else i think my opinion is a great solid uh pretty much nice setup ready to go uh throw in your suppressor your nice scope you already have a nice trigger which is very 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 light and crisp uh throw your accessories you got just ability all right really nice little setup for uh squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting or just plinking and just having fun out there and teach somebody about firearms in my opinion it's a great 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 option to start with with a 22 and yeah i really like it uh, you know it all depends how much you want to spend but this is running this this actual fluted uh 16 inch bull barrel again this is the bull barrel uh 22 fx 22 rifle again it's 900 bucks uh they had the one with the pencil barrel uh, which is a little bit more lighter and that's around 750 and again they have the skeletonized one with aluminum stock and that's gonna be uh over a thousand dollars of course they got the pistol version with a shorter barrel with no brace or anything like that just pistol version as well aluminum frame uh, i can't remember how much that one is but uh check it out again link down below if you want to check out facts and firearms i appreciate this guy for always being a supporter and as usual make sure to check all of discount codes uh, down below and links and everything if you're new to the channel give this video a big thumbs up make sure to follow me on no social media as well go to rumble everybody's moving to rumble if you decide to uh, follow us over there please support us us out there too as well and yeah let me know what you think about the fx22 what is your favorite 22 rifle for plinkston or long range shooting or anything of that nature and what is your setup as well uh what type of 22 ammunition you like the best as well and as you can see uh like i mentioned uh 
federal may may sometimes may not be the best for this one everything else i pretty much ate it but on that thank you for watching and i'll see you the next one goodbye